Hi guys, it's Dave here with another painting tutorial. Um, and today we're going to be working on this Tau Piranha. And I'm going to be showing you my interpretation of the standard uh, Tau colour scheme. Uh, first of all, what we've done with this is we have primed it with the Army Painters, if I can get it in shot, can I? Yep. Desert Yellow. Uh, that's a great starting point for the standard, I suppose you would say. Um, towel paint scheme um, because you don't need to worry about base coating it at all you can just undercoat it and you're good to go from there um, one thing I will say here quickly if you can notice this is why it's always important to make sure that you take your time when you're prepping your models if I grab myself a, a pointer what I've got here where I've sprayed this in the dark in a hurry I've got some lines across the carapace where it's stuck a little bit I've also obscured, if you can see that, some of the detail here on this back helmet. Always make sure you follow your instructions for your spray can. Um, it's just, I got a little bit overconfident, thought I knew better, and I've messed it up a little bit. But not to worry, if you're following your instructions on your spray can, it'll always come out all right. So yeah, it's important to take your time, make sure you get it right. Um, so yeah, this is covered, as I said, in desert yellow. And the first thing we're gonna do is you know me, just apply a wash all over the whole thing to get some shades picked out. Um, I'm only going to be painting a part of the model again, like you're used to me doing. I won't do the whole thing, but obviously you can follow um, the whole this style for the whole model. So over the desert yellow, if I can get it in, can I? Yep. I'm just going to be using some seraphim sepia all over the whole thing. And that'll pick out the definitions in our shades. using a wash brush here as well from Citadel with the Poipal end. Okay, look. I'm going to be focusing mostly on this area here, maybe a little bit of the exhaust vents as well, possibly this front bit. See how we go, but yeah. Uh, straight out of the pot, not bothering to water it down because I'm using the shadows. And then over it goes. So yeah, this is just Games Workshop, Seraphim Sepia, straight out of the pot. So yeah, when I said you don't want it too thick, see if I can find some. What you want to avoid, if you can, when you're putting the wash on, is too much of this, where it's like pulling in the centre of an armour panel. You want to just try and, if you can, absorb that a little bit because it will like to pull in certain places. Here it might be just because of uh, me having the, the dimples in where I did the spraying, but it will still try and pull a little bit in the center of armor plates. So you just want to try and pull that out, but you don't need to worry about it hugely. I'll do this vent as well. Um, I'm going to actually probably paint this vent in a metallic, just to show you like a basic and metallic. Some people prefer to paint all their towel one uniform colour so it looks like ceramics or whatever, but um, that's up to you, entirely up to you. You can do the uh, techniques that I'll be doing over the armour, over everything if you like, or you can do some metallics in there as well. I just think it breaks up the, the yellows a little bit, makes it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, one sec, just make sure I've got where I want. And then you want to make sure you give your wash plenty of time to dry because otherwise you're just mixing up mud if you don't. If you start painting over that before it's dry properly, then you end up with a bit of a brown mess and, uh, ooh, and you don't want that. <laughs> so I'm going to let that dry properly and I'll be back with you. All right, see you in a minute. And now the wash we were doing is mostly dry on the bit. We're going to be working on it all dry anyway, but we've got some still some wet bits around here that I'm not going to be doing anything on there at the minute. Um, for the next step, all I'm going to be doing is using this, which is War Paints, Desert Yellow. Now this is the same colour that we undercoated with. Then we're going back over and picking out the uh, individual plates on the front of the Piranha, on this bit, just along the front here. Now if you were doing a devil fish or a whatever they're called, hammerhead, or something like that, a bit bigger, you might rightly not want to paint every single individual armour plate. 
which is fair enough. If you didn't want to do that, you could do like a heavy dry brush, just as long as you were making sure that you were missing the recesses, otherwise you'd lose the effect of the, the depth. Let's just go nuts. I'm gonna be using a Games Workshop base coat brush for this. Nothing too fancy. Yep, and all we're gonna be doing is painting on the panels, so. Like this, just try your best not to go down into the little grooves where the wash lives. My paint is a little bit thick, not too much to worry about, I'm just spreading it out a little bit, but it is a tiny bit thicker. Than I might have wanted, but never mind. You will learn your own techniques for doing this. That's the best way to learn is you have your paint too thick, you make a few mistakes, you try again, then you get more comfortable with your ratios, you get used to it. It's better as well if your brush has a good point. Um, for this, this particular one, doesn't, it's not too essential that it does. Just for these outlining of the plates, but if you're doing finer jobs, you want to make sure your brush has got a good point. Is uh, where the wash has, I'll try and turn it to show you, where the wash has gone into these lines, not the actual grooves out of the armor, but where there's like this little dip um, on the flow of the plate here. I'm trying to leave it so there's a bit of wash still showing there as well, just to show that that would be darker. You might notice as well that I'm holding the brush very close to the end, very close to the actual bristles, because that gives you better control over where you're putting the paint. Um, and I hold the brush like a pen. People hold it differently, uh, Remain holds it differently as well, it's just personal preference, there really is no right way to hold the brush, just however you're the most comfortable. At this stage you might be able to see a huge amount of difference, um, which is fine, because there shouldn't be a massive amount of difference on the plates, it's just so that we can define the lower parts really at the minute. What I'm also doing as well is trying to get all the paint to go in the same direction. So uh, I'm not kind of going crisscrossy or anything like that. I'm trying to do long, thin strokes towards the front end or the top end or whatever it is I'm going with this particular stroke. Now with yellows, even though this is a brownie yellow, yellows are quite thin usually, so you might need to do a couple of coats with this to get a good even coverage. But uh, you'll be able to tell that on your own model when you're doing it. A good solid coat is what you want. I was always told when I was doing art at school, with watercolours this was, um, that you didn't want it to look like painted on paper if you were doing watercolours. You wanted to make it look like solid colour. Uh, painted on paper was not what you were going for canvas or whatever you want to say. We never quite upgraded to canvas, we always just had paper when I was doing it. And for the next step, what I'm going to do is bring the palette up here quickly, so you can see it. I'm going to be doing a little bit of mixing of colour. Uh, I am going to take Avalon Sunset from Games Workshop. Even though it says it's a base colour, it doesn't have to be put on first. I'm going to be using it as a highlight to this. And I am going to, just with an old brush, like I said before, this end, take some of that Avalon Sunset out and put it on the palette. That's about enough. So we're going to call that three parts, because it was three dobs from my brush of Avalon Sunset. And then I'm going to water that down. I just use regular tap water. 
uh, with water. So it's about the consistency of soup or milk, as Remain always says. And he's right, there's no better way to describe it than that. That is about the consistency you want. And as I said earlier, you will just get used to what the consistency looks like. It's very difficult to describe the consistency you want. Um, and again, that's why I use an old brush. You see where I've got all the paint up here onto the metal bit? You don't want to do that ever with your good brushes because that will ruin them. With this, it doesn't really matter because it's just used for making paint be in one place and moving it to another. And then that's going to be a little bit too bright for what we want. Not a huge amount, just slightly. Thank <laughs> you. 